Thanks for agreeing to be interviewed, Emily, because um, most of our students are studying writing are actually online. Yeah, um, great. So I wondered yeah. if you could just introduce yourself to the online students. Yeah. Um, my name's Emily Stewart. I'm the poetry editor at Duramondo Publishing. Um, I'm also a poet as well, which um, I guess I'll say more about when we go through the questions. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. So could you tell yeah. me how you got into the industry? Um, yeah. So... Uh, in some ways, the way I got into it um, is sort of conventional. I did an arts degree at university. Um, I worked in a bookshop and then sort of thought um, I might like to get into publishing. So I moved to Melbourne um, and I did a master's degree in publishing. And it sort of wasn't until that point that I could start, you know, I was kind of sending my resume out and not having much luck. But once I was in that master's, somehow that opened up some doors and um, and I started there as an editorial assistant in an educational publisher and then have moved up from there. Yeah. 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 And but, but you're also a poet yourself, mm, you said. Yes, but I'm a poet myself. And so as a poetry editor, I think um, that's very that's become very useful. And probably yeah, I think um, I think that sort of has led to me, definitely led to me going down this path in particular. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. And so your day-to-day -day working life at the moment, what, what's that like? Um, so my day-to-day -day life, um, there's sort of kind of three clusters of things that happen. The first cluster is around um, what is in production. Um, and so what I mean by that is sort of once an author has written their manuscript and sent it in and it's ready to go, you know, then it's in production, you've got a schedule, um, you start editing. So um, the first thing I tend to be doing in the day might be like working on edits or um, taking in corrections, kind of liaising back and forth with the author. And I tend to do that early on when my brain is feeling the most kind of alive and fresh for that really intense work. Um, and then the second cluster is around books that um, have gone through production they're out there in the world, what happens? And so, you know, as an editor, my job doesn't end when I've finished working on the book. It's sort of, um, I'm very much engaged with the author beyond that. Um, we have a publicist at Duramondo, and so working with the publicist to kind of come up with a plan for how to promote the book, planning launches, um, you know, keeping in touch with the author around how things are going. So there's that kind of follow-up and continuing on with the book after um, after it's out there in the world. And then the third aspect is around um, kind of planning, developing, finding writers. And so um, that part of my job might be um, going through our submittable and seeing what people have been sending in. Um, it's going to events, reading publications, getting a sense, you know, keeping up with what's going on in the industry as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And, so, and do you have any advice for um, students who are wanting to get into writing or, or editing? Yeah, I think my uh, I think the best thing you can do is sort of like nothing beats hands-on experience. And so the best thing you can do for yourself is to, um, you know, start like just start something of your own that's really small or get involved in something where you can get that experience. Um, like when I was at uni, I um, was the editor of a creative magazine at my university. And so that gave me the first kind of, my first experiences, like being an editor, working with authors, um, working out how you, how you publish a book, um, you know. And it's very easy and like, yeah, I, I think even starting a zine, something like that, where you can publish your own writing, publish your friend's writing, like get your friends together that are interested and make something and, that's the best thing you can do. Build your own community around what you're interested in. 